the only class who chose to do the uh, test grid table. So once that gets over, it gets over recording. There you go. Uh, you guys see the uh, pep rally deal up there on the projection? Uh, you guys, you guys all grabbed your project, right? You guys got your project from yesterday. Okay. So looking at where we are, oh, we flip the screen back. Look at where we are. Uh, I think what we have to do, if, if you guys kept pace with me yesterday, anyway, is to put on the screen. Okay. Now, if you have to get up to this point, then uh, go ahead, take the you know, first 12 minutes here and try to get up to this point. Okay. Uh, while was, you guys are doing that, because I know it's probably all a little bit different spots, okay. make sure you guys see the final model, which looks like this. Okay. So to go from this to this, uh, just need to bring these columns together and tie them together. Uh, at least when I made this model, I, I think there might be a little blue in there or, or not. I forget if I put blue or not, but the, the string, I think, will just do, do the trick. Okay. Uh, but also remember that when we do bring these together and tie them together, that they actually have to interlock with each other, right, from one side to the other. Okay. And uh, I, I think you guys figured out yesterday, too, the string that has the most tension in it. And which uh, which thing did you say that was? Yeah, you guys are saying this this middle string is actually what's what's holding it up, right? Yeah. This string, right? It's held by tension. Right? And then uh, you guys are saying that these outside strings are just the stabilizers, right? Uh, so this is what we gotta do. We gotta take care of the string part. Um, who, who does not have string with them? Who does not have string? Remember the string? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go forward with the string part because I think it's be kind of tricky and exactly how it would be in terms of time, but I think we'll be all right. Got till 10.01. Right, so just about 30 minutes. All right. So, um, so, yeah, and if you're getting up to this point, then I think you guys can figure it out and catch up. All right. So, uh, maybe what I'll do is uh, go ahead and pull three of these columns together and uh, just tie them together. And I remember what I did with the model, too, is uh, I think I cut little notches in these. And the advantage of, let's say, cutting a little notch there and then for the other two columns that I'm tying together. Is that uh, that would give a place for the string you want to go to, or, or maybe you could fold and make it free, something like that. Okay, so see if I cut a, like a little notch right here, about a centimeter down from the top, a little tiny notch. And then same thing here, about a centimeter down from the top. Uh, see if this is even the same. This one looks a little bit longer, so maybe cut it down a little bit further. Cut a little notch. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need to tie this together. So I need a short length of string, probably not very long. I mean, probably, probably this is the longest. Okay. If there's a little excess, you can always go back after the fact and stop some excess. Okay. So I'm going to bring these three guys together. Right. Look at that. that. That makes a nice pyramid shape, doesn't it? Nice pyramid shape. Pyramid is a really strong shape, especially from above. Okay. You guys ever seen a, like a truss shape, like on the side of a bridge? Okay. Really strong shape. So went around a few times, make, make a real good knot. All right. And then that is definitely in place right there. Okay. So got a little excess string. I'll just go chop that off so it's not just like hanging there. All right. Got it. Nice, strong pyramid shape right there. Uh, I want to do, of course, the same thing with the other one, except they don't want to tie it together independently because then they wouldn't interlock, and uh, that would be a pain. So uh, I'll start the same. I'm going to cut some notches about a centimeter down from the top of each column, give the uh, string a place to be guided to, so they're just kind of locked in place there. Incision.
Can you speak Arabic? Okay. Can I so far? Who's got any questions so far? Who's got questions? Okay. All right. All right. So now what I want you to before, oh, um, say, before I tie these two together, I really want to interlock it with this one here. So I need to put these together. Now, there's probably two ways to put them together, right? See, if I put them together like this, um, actually, I think that's going to run me into trouble. Well, it just wouldn't be super, super pretty at the end. This is triangle shape versus the square base that it's on, or rectangle base, I should say. Right? See, there's one uh, column that's like centered on the long edge for each one. And if you have it mirrored, then they're going to sort of like run into each other. And same thing with the other column, right? They'll be like competing for space. So then your table is going to end up twisted at the end. Um, and that would be kind of So this I'm trying to get up. I want to take one of these and actually rotate it 180 degrees. Right? See, if I Glue them together like this, or uh, sorry, connect, interlock them like this. I'm going to run into trouble. Okay, it's going to be all twisted, messed up. I want to take this one, rotate it 180. Ah, so you guys see where like this column is lined up with this blank. That way, the the, the legs won't get in, in the way of each other, right? Let me show you guys the, the model too to show you what, what I'm talking about. Okay. See how if we're out from this point of view, uh, got these two legs are closest to us. But then on the other plane, we've got the one leg that's centered. Right? And if I turn it 180 degrees along that, that axis, okay, now it's like one leg versus two. Right? So they don't actually get in each other's way. Okay? So interlock them like this. Right? So now I'll say i got two legs there, one leg here. Right? Now here's one of the tricky parts that I said. Um, be able to throw this to the side and then tie them together right here. It's got a pretty good knot. And I went around a few times with a string. Got a real good double knot going. Pop off the excess. So it's not hanging out there. Uh, yeah, so. uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I did with that, uh, had three columns. You bring the columns together, and it's uh, probably about a centimeter down. Right? Yeah, just make a loop around it, and then, um, yeah, make like a, like a square knot, right? So, like you start tying your shoes, like that first tie, but you just do that, you know, a few times. Make a real good knot right here. This one like this. Do that for both sides. See, they're interlocked now. They're interlocked together. Okay. Okay. Uh, and just in case you missed this before, uh, in case your focus was on like blue or something, uh, the way I interlock these is notice that from this point of view, as you guys look at this, there's two legs 
uh, that are closest to us on the left plane, and there's one leg centered on the right plane. You guys see that? That way the legs aren't getting in each other's way. Okay. If I first, if I flip this 180 degrees, you guys see there's one leg centered on the left plane and two legs on the right plane. Okay. So, so they're missing each other, but that's how it's supposed to be. But, and then the rectangle planes are lined up with each other from overhead. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you guys about a minute to try to think about that one. Oh, you guys are up there already? It's like. Okay. Kevin's got it. 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 Man's got it. Uh, yeah, see this guy up there. Almost there too. Uh, yeah. You guys are doing awesome with this so far. Uh, we do have about 20 minutes to the bell, so I want to make sure I just give you guys some audio if I can towards other. So I'll go ahead with the next step, and if you're um, a step behind, then uh, you'll be able to call on uh, for yourself. So the two last things we got to do is we got to put that uh, string in the middle that actually holds it up, that provides the tension that holds it. Okay? And after that, put the support strings on the outside. Okay? Let me flash the model up here real fast. So the, the tension string in the middle and then the support strings on the outside. That's what we gotta do. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna cut a length of string that I can use this. I, I'm gonna put that middle one on first. Okay, see what I did when I put this together. Okay. So I got a good length of string. This is um, probably about 40 centimeters long if I'm looking at it. Probably longer than I need, but um, I, I want something like that. So then I'm probably gonna wind this around two, three times. And then want enough excess left over also where I can tie it pretty easily. So yeah, actually 40 centimeters is uh, probably probably the minimal length you want. Okay. So if you cut off, you know, 50 centimeters might not be a bad idea. I don't know. Okay, so uh, now the way I'm gonna wind this around is um, remember those three columns that came together? I'm actually going to push it down inside where those three columns were coming together. Okay? So it's like locked inside there. Okay? Now it can't slide down any further because there's already a string there that's tying those three together. Right? So it's already stuck in place. Okay? Okay, if you made those notches in the columns like I told you, then and that's it's definitely stuck in place. Okay, so I'm going to wind it down underneath. Uh, put right here. Same thing with the other one. Down underneath. Uh, yeah, well, maybe I'll just tie that right there, I think. 
So when I tie this off, okay. Now here's where you want a loop of uh, sort of like a Goldilocks size, right? See if this uh, distance right here from this knot to this knot, if it's too small, they made a string loop that was uh, too small, okay. then uh, well, your table would get really high and it might look like the columns were resting on each other. So then uh, you wouldn't get the full illusory effect of all oh, this is actually being held by tension. Okay. Uh, that's if, if that's if the planes are too far apart and then these cannot get too close together. Like that. Okay. Uh, see, these are on the model are clearly uh, the columns are not resting on each other. Okay. Versus if you made the string the, the string loop in the middle too long, okay, then uh, the tops of the pyramids are going to touch the opposite planes, and again you're going to lose that. That tensority effect. Okay. So there's a Goldilocks size that you want to tie this loop. Now I haven't quite tied mine yet. I've got it sort of in place here. Okay. That loop for that. Hmm. Yeah, I tried to make it look like it's floating, right? Okay. I think that, ooh, I think I got it right about there. We go a little bit. A little bit tighter. Okay, when you think you have a good size, then tie it off, and then just check, make sure that okay, so have a good knot there. Tie a few times. Wear not this thing. Okay, so check this out. Okay, so I'm thinking mine is pretty good, except that ah, okay. Sorry, I'll be able to fix this. Um, I do, do have th those original uh, columns, those legs. Okay. I've got one long one on each side and that are actually brushing against the uh, opposite uh, planes, which of course kind of ruins the effect. Uh, I can just take some scissors, reach in, and trim those. So trim this guy a little bit shorter. Trim this guy a little bit shorter. All right, now I got this thing floating. Okay. And so this looks like levitation at this point. So that's good. Uh, but it is totally not stable at all. Right? And that's where the last step's going to come into play. We're going to tie on these support strings. Leave that there for a minute. Okay, pick up that step. So I'm going to go ahead with this last step of the um, the stabilizing strings. Right. Let's see. Oh, I think this is pretty tough. Right. No, I'm thinking about these stabilizing strings. I'm going to bring up the model again. So get a good look at this. Right. Uh, they're really making like a rectangle shape. You guys see that? Right. So what I did was I just took one long string and looped it like a rectangle. Right. So there's a couple of hole punch uh, on the side of each card. Right. Like they're there for the support string. Same thing on the other side. And I just push the uh, string through those uh, through those holes. Like you can probably just like, poke them with a pen. Okay. So one there, one there, put them on the corners, put another couple of holes on the opposite edge. Okay. And then we're going to feed the string through and then make like a rectangle loop and then tie it off there. Okay, so I got to punch some holes in the top and bottom of this. Okay. Maybe I'll go about, um, if you really want to measure it, you guys got rulers out there, but uh, a couple of centimeters in from each corner. Okay, so it's probably like right there. And then to keep it symmetric, I'll just do the same thing all the way around. So a couple centimeters from that corner, a couple centimeters from this corner. Okay. 
something's going to run me in trouble. Oh, there's a column right there. A couple centimeters from this corner. Okay, yeah, that's going to work. Flip it over. On the other side, same thing. So punch four holes. One, two, Okay, three, and four. Okay, I got those holes punched. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna feed the string through, make a rectangle shape that goes around. Okay. Uh, I will tell you guys, I mean, this is the last step. Once you pass the string at this point, yeah, got, got a good 11 minutes here to be able to do this. Okay. Once you pass the string, then, um, yeah, on both sides, you'll have a finished product. Um, you want this to uh, be like an exact rectangle size. See if we uh, do a model here to see what I'm trying to say here. Okay. See if these two rectangles, about one rectangle close to me, and one rectangle on the far side. You want them to be the same size, right? Because if one's big, one small, then uh, it's going to be a lot tighter. Okay, so I do have the string push through the four holes on you know, what's going to be one side of this. Uh, now, here's where I want to be really careful. I have to tie an exact place to make sure it's not too tight, not too loose. It's going to make a rectangle that's going to let this stand up right. And then I'll have to go to the other side and make it uh, like a rectangle loop that's exactly the same size. So let's see if I can do that. Okay, I think that's what I want right there. Right now, I'll chop off the excess. I need one more string to finish this off. Okay. 
So I wrap around the one sphere and I tie around the other one. So like Is level. Carefully pull that in. Chop off the excess and yeah. 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 table. Yeah. So the whole comes down. Doesn't look too stable, but looks like it's levitating. That looks really cool. There you go. Uh, I'll give you guys some points. Yeah, stop the recording right here. We got about five minutes left in time. <laughs>